Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's tutorial series, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new course which is Angular 2 um, Concepts with TypeScript. Okay, so I'm going to do a brand new Angular 2 course. We're just going to focus on some of the concepts that you need to know in order to get started with an Angular um, 2JS project. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to install the Angular 2 command line. So basically that will enable us um, to create stuff like directives and um, components and routes and uh, stuff like that okay so uh, if you don't know what those means just hang along with me but if you've used angular one before you know that um, they have been a vital part of angular one okay so first of all make sure you have node.js installed and um, come to your command line and just type in npm install angular cli and type dash g at the end and that will install angular cli globally okay okay so now that we've installed the cli we're gonna go ahead and bootstrap a whole new angular 2 application okay so um if you've installed the cli properly when you type ng you should be presented with a whole bunch of um information basically like you're seeing on my screen here and um that will uh, make sh um confirm to you that you've installed the cli properly okay so um, just to get started, we're going to be creating a simple to do app. So basically, um, there's a whole lot to Angular 2 because there's a lot that's been added. And now obviously, some stuff has been taken away from Angular 1. But um, I'm not going to bother you with all the details, just enough to get you up and running with a brand new Angular app. That documentation is brilliant, but this tutorial series will take you through how to build an Angular 2 app comfortably. OK, so first thing to bootstrap an Angular 2 app, just type um, go to a, uh, an empty folder and just type ng and then say new and um, the name of your app. So I'm going to do um, tutorial Angular um, to do. OK, and I'm going to press enter. So that will go ahead and create a folder with that name and all the Angular 2 um, goodies that I need. Okay, so I'll let that install and I'll carry on with the video once that is done. Okay, so now that our Angular 2 um, application has been um, created and bootstrapped, we're going to go inside of the folder that was created. So we're going to do tutorial um, Angular to do. Okay, and next let's just list out the um, folders that were created for us. Um, so as you can see, we have a whole bunch of folders. And I've gone ahead and um, opened that in a text editor, which is um, Visual Studio Code, a new text editor by Microsoft that came out uh, not long ago. So um, most of the work that we're going to be doing is going to live inside of the source and the app folder over here. OK, so uh, a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to do is going to live inside this folder. So um, just to show you that the app is up and um, everything was created properly, I'm going to go to the command line and just type ng serve. So that will uh, start up a new Angular 2 server um, for development. So it says serving on localhost 4200. So here I am in the browser. I'm just going to load that up, localhost um, 4200. And if everything works fine, it's just going to say tutorial Angular to do uh, works. Basically, it's the name of your um, application and it said everything works. So if you see this on your screen, know that you've created a brand new um, Angular 2 application. All right. So um, that brings us to the end of this uh, setting up Angular and um, creating a new application. And in the next video, let's see um, how to create our first component and um, the top level component of our application. And I thank you for watching. I hope you're excited for this series because I am. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.